Let's go back to the highlights then. Another chance to witness the race start, which was so busy. And uh, three abreast cars, but uh, Torsten Kratz will have really wished he wasn't involved in this starting melee. Did incredibly well to haul the car away from the danger zone there because he could have been collected by two, three or four cars, thankfully. And amazingly, contact was avoided and the battling continued for the number 11 car, the WTM, powered by Phoenix Machine. Indications there from the team that maybe Torsten had had some rear damage or rear contact. Big crash uh, on the infield section for Daniel Schneider. Likewise, the DKR engineering car of John Brownson was heavily damaged. Very good scrapping between the Ferrari of Iron Links and the Porsche of TFT and there was more of that to come. A first spin of the race for CD Sport. Big crash for Erwin Creed in the number 21 machine uh, which goes off the track and out of the race I'm afraid to say and that car heavily damaged both front and rear. Meanwhile then the influx of machinery to the pit lane as the pit lane window was opened at the 50 minute marker. And the Porsche slithering its way up the inside of Reno Mastronardi to retake the GT3 uh, lead after Reno Mastronardi, surprisingly and not very unusually, caught napping there. Then the battling commenced between Garrett Grist and Thalo Shalal. There was a spin for Josh Skelton as he went for a move on the Phoenix racing car of Hamza Ovega but just carrying a bit too much speed into Turn 10 was Josh Skelton and the safety car would be deployed again to make sure that Josh's car could be recovered safely. Garrett Grist then turning on the style by overtaking Shalal into the first corner. There was then this spin for the CD Sport machine and again the need for a full course yellow for it to be recovered and Team Virage missed a beat here. They kept the 71 car out, thinking maybe it was going to be a longer full course yellow than it turned out to be. The Tommy Foster car from RLRM Sport had already made a stop. That was the prime opportunity for the British team to outpace the Polish squad. And although Garrett Grist was close at the line, it was to be no cigar for the Canadian driver. And Tommy Foster and Mikey Benham take the first victory of the season. Quite a story to tell down at RLRM Sport, one that will well, the, the chatter will continue long into the night and the debriefing, particularly down at Team Virage. Congratulations to BZ Obera, Zurich say by TFT as well. Easy to overlook their race victory, but it was a dominant one by 11 seconds in the end over Paolo Roberti. And the drivers that finished in third position are already on the podium in the GT3 category. So that's the AF Corsa entry for Ken Abe and Matteo Crisoni to the second slip of the podium for Ar Iron Lynx, Reno Mastronardi and Paolo Roberti. But the biggest grins on the podium will be reserved for Nicky Loitvila and for Julian Andlau.